Hi there, welcome to Treasure Rescue 21. Today I am coming to you with another haul and today the theme of my haul is Italian. So you know I love my Italian pottery. This is only probably a fourth of the Italian pottery that I have, but this is the stuff that has already been um, processed, photographed, and is up on eBay. And now it's just um, the rest of the Italian pottery that I don't have in storage. So if you wanna see how I store some of my inventory, go back and watch my um, garage video of how I store my stuff and how I have my packing station set up. I'll link the video down below so you don't have to go looking for it. Um, but anyways, I just want to show you some of these items before they go into storage. So um, I'm just going to, in no particular order, start with this planter. So this is a white um, camel planter. You can see the sticker down at the bottom, made in Italy. And I don't think this is as old of a piece as some of the pieces that I'm gonna show you from 1950s and 1960s, but this is definitely not a contemporary piece. But I would say that this is probably late 70s, early 80s. Um, I just absolutely love the glaze on this guy. So this is the first piece. Next piece, I have this console bowl um, or this vase. It has this beautiful um, hand-painted uh, leaf um, pattern. I love selling um, Native American pottery and so combining this Native American look with um, Italy with like Italian pottery, I just, I had to get this. So this one has a little bit of an older um, mark on it and it actually has um, a date on it of 1950 or 1956 and somebody gifted somebody this during that time so it's at least that old. The next piece I have is contemporary but it is very collectible and if you go on eBay you'll see um, not a lot listed because they do sell quickly. Um, this mosaic style um, plate. These are a decorative plate. They have the space for you to put a wire or a string for you to hang it. This is um, in the brand Veneto Flare Mosaic and it is a pelican made in Italy, um, limited edition. This is number 293 out of a thousand. So um, just to give you a little bit of um, some information, anytime there is a number out of a thousand or out of 500 or out of a hundred, anytime the number is small, so the smaller the number is, the va more valuable the piece is. So um, 293 out of a thousand, is pretty good for this piece. Next is another um, <clears throat> very unique looking um, plate for Italy. Um, the only thing that gave it away to me that it was Italy um, was the way the leaves were painted, but I was a little bit confused um, at this bisque. Um, like this bisque finish and then when I turned it over I was like I thought it was Italy because of the leaves um but yeah this is one of my um unique pieces of Italy just because at first glance you're kind of like it's giving me Italy vibes but I'm not really sure so <clears throat> that's that piece next this is definitely um Bitosi-esque but it is a newer um, anytime you see this stamp, this Made in Italy stamp, this is a newer production. Um, so it could be made by Potosi for, um, souvenir purposes, or it could be a reproduction of Potosi. But in any case, it is still Italy and it is still very high quality, um, pottery so you can see this graffito which is anytime there's like deep grooves or engraving in the pottery 
Um, and the colors on this is really, really nice. Next is this piece right here. And this, mu this is a music box and it plays magic flute. So for those music connoisseurs out there, um, hopefully you know what that is. Um, it says made in Italy right there. And this is by the brand, um, Zarpiva. Um, it's signed right there. So this is a clown completely made out of um, pottery and just the details in his hair and his instrument is amazing. Now some of these pieces um, are like huge and um, some of the pieces are very dainty and small like this. The only thing about this brand is that no matter how intricate the piece, they pretty much go for the same, between $25 to $45. So your best bet is to get something small like this that's easy to ship and to not pay a lot of money for it because no matter how intricate, no matter how big, like I said, you're expected to get between the 25 and 45 range. Now, that's not to say that that won't change in a few years, but that's just where they're at right now, which is a shame because they're really, really cool. And I can just imagine like a whole collection of these on a shelf or sitting on top of a piano. So if you're into collecting those, the music boxes are really cool. Um, another one along the line of sculptural and like really cute style are these three um men um play one is playing the drum one is playing the clarinet and one is playing a trumpet and it's um like a, a set um it does say italy and there is a name um a brand name um i can't remember what the brand name is it's a bunch of scribbling but i did figure it out to list it and this one is currently listed on um on my ebay store um, i picked this up at a flea market so that was a great find this next piece is another one of those 1950 uh pieces i love the color and the texture of it it has that popcorn-y um, texture. And I love how um, there is two different pictures. So you have this pictures of the this picture of the dancing um, man and man and woman. And then you have this scene of more like a farm um, house with the trees um, and like a field. So this basket is very sweet. You can put some candies in it. You can put flowers in it. You can put little um, hors d'oeuvres in it if you want to, um, like nuts or something, if you want to put it out for a party. So I really, really love this. Um, pieces like this um, that are like cute and dainty, a lot of the times you will have um, chipping. So this one has a chip right here and it has a chip right here. But first of all, the chips are on the inside. Second of all, I am one to not care about chips. I feel like it's part of the piece's history and I personally have pieces that are damaged in my collection because to me, it's not damaged. It's part of the history, like I said, and that chip doesn't bother me. I know there are some um, die-hard collectors out there that want like the mint condition pieces, but I have no problem at all selling um, pieces with chips, especially um, to collectors who, again, love the piece. And if they're going to use it with some flowers or stuff in it, you're not even going to see those chips. So that's just something that I wanted to point out. And don't let chips deter you um, when you are buying a piece for resale. Another example of that is I found this beautiful wall pocket with this cherub on it. Um, it's just a little small thing. Um, I really wish it had another, like a pair, um, but this is a great example of how far away the piece looks beautiful and you can barely tell that the bottom here has been um, repaired. So it was completely broken off and somebody glued it back, but they glued it back aligned. There is some chipping now, but 
up on a wall with some flowers you cannot even tell so again this is an older mark and there's also a brand so either this would be a brand of a company that made the mold for this or it would be the person who hand painted it so it can be either or when it comes to Italian pottery so again this was a piece that I picked up at Goodwill I think it was $2.99 or $1.99 so I paid hardly nothing for it and it's a great piece for anybody who loves it and who will not even care about the damage um this piece is not marked Italy but just based on the uh, signature or the name of the signature I found out that it was Italy it was part of a bigger set but I felt like this piece was delicate enough and substantial enough to be sold on its own so here is the signature right here um there's not a whole lot of stuff about this piece but just the delicateness of it and the craftsmanship and there is not one piece of chip on anything which I am hoping I can keep it like that until it gets to um, a new home the stopper is just amazing um, this is gr ground and this is ground and so I think it's either like a decanter of some sort or based on um, just having lemons here I feel like it's like for oil or vinegar or like a dressing or something but just the size makes me feel like it's a decanter so I'm not really sure because I couldn't find the same exact piece but pieces this size I could find um, like platters and bowls and stuff like this with the same motif by the same person so that's what I based my listing on so this is a great piece and this piece is listed on my eBay store this next piece was one of those where it was like is that Italy but then when you flip it up you're like of course it's Italy um I was at an estate sale and I um found this little rabbit um there was two of them and you know pears are always better but um after i just talked about chips that one was chipped up beyond um anything that i would want to sell so the bow was chipped the majority of the leaves were chipped and it was just not going to be worth pairing it with a perfect one so that's the reason why i decided to just go for one I feel like this one would be great for springtime, for fall, for Easter, for so many different occasions. And so that's the reason why I picked that one up. This one also has a little bit of an older um, stamp, probably not um, the 50s, but it's definitely not contemporary. We're probably talking the 80s on this one. And then this last a piece of Italian pottery that I'm going to show you is my very first console set that I bought. I'm going to show you the pieces individually just because I don't have hands, but it's this giant bowl and then these two candles. So what happens is if you have a console in your foyer or you know in the entrance of your house you'll have this bowl where either you'll put a flower arrangement or you'll put some like balls or pine cones or something and then on either side of the bowl you'll have these two candlesticks on either side and so that's what a console set is because it'll go on a console table in your um foyer or like i said in your the entryway of your house so these do have the older um stamp and they also have um, a mold mark on them so i i was trying to do my research to see if these were potosi, potosi and i couldn't find anything about them being potosi however um I did find that console sets, um, just because of the nature of console sets and the history of them, are older pieces. So these are pieces from the 1950s. Um, and console sets sell anywhere between 125 and 285. So I have these um, 
listed on my eBay store. Um, if you're interested in those, um, go ahead and check out my link down below. The majority of my hauls are going to be things that you might not see me pick up in my um, uh, shopping videos just because I have so much inventory that you guys haven't seen me pick up. So um, everything that I've shown you in this haul is listed on my in my eBay store. And as always, my eBay um, store is linked down below. Check it out, share it with a friend, and just spread the word. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you'll check out my eBay store and I will see you in the next one.